Oh, I got oh something. Gosh, oh, what is that? That's a big fish. Woo! My bait was just sitting there. Oh my gosh, it's a big fish. Get him! It's a big fish. Look at that big old bluegill. Hopefully that'll get eaten by a big old catfish. He's right behind it. There he is. Nice one. Nice one. Nice one. That's a big one. That is a really nice bass. Okay, guys, so Jay just motioned over to me. She's not okay. She's not okay, she said. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It's Colin Jay coming to you live from the top of a giant spillway. Today, we are here to do some fishing, obviously, and we're gonna be targeting all sorts of different types of species today. We will literally catch whatever bites are, but we've got some night crawlers, we've got some crappie jigs, we got some giant catfish rods. We got it all. We got it all, <laughs> bass gear. We, we literally have it all to catch everything. So I guess we're gonna see what all we can catch today, but we're also looking to catch some fish we can take home for dinner tonight. It's gonna be a good time. It's super hot right now, but it's in the afternoon. The sun's gonna start setting. We're gonna get some shade. It's gonna feel good. And we're both just excited to be out here fishing together. It's been a while since we've done yeah. a fishing mission together. So let's see how this plays out. If y'all are excited to join along with us on today's fishing adventure, do us a huge favor, hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any of our future fishing adventures. But with that being said, we've got to get going. We've got some fish to catch. All right, so we're gonna start off by throwing some night crawlers. We're gonna throw them off down here into the spillway. See if maybe we can catch some little catfish, maybe some bluegill. If we catch some bluegill, we might cut them up for some cut bait or use them for live bait. We got some big catfish gear today. Let's just start by tossing it right down in there and let's see what happens. Fish on! What is this? Oh, we got ourselves a little bluegill. We got ourselves a little bluegill, one of our target species. I think I'm gonna try to catch one just a little bit smaller to use as live bait. Um, if I don't catch anything smaller, I guess I could cut them up. But that would be a nice meal for a big old flathead if we could get one down here. But we'll let this one go. Oh, fish on. I got something. Oh, there's a fish trying to eat it. That was a bass. That was a big old bass trying to come up and eat it. Oh. I feel like he had it for a second. He might have had it. He was trying to give us a big old bass. Whoa. Nice. That's a good size bluegill. That's almost like eating size for us. Heck yeah. He looks kind of gross though. I know. That bass literally tried to eat that guy. But there we go. Not a bad start at all. Nice big old bluegill. <laughs> you know, we might consider eating some of that size. But that one there, he is kind of gross looking. Yeah. He's got like gross. Oh, I got oh, something. Gosh. Oh, what is that? It's a big fish. <laughs> My bait was just sitting there. Oh my gosh, it's a big fish. Get him! It's a big fish. I was just letting it sit out there. <laughs> what the heck? Is this a catfish? Find like a catfish. Oh, it's a nice fish. What is this? You want me to let this go? Yeah, you can let him go. Let's see what this big guy is. We're gonna figure out how we're gonna land him too. We need a drop net, dang it. We, we should have we should have got ourselves a drop net. Okay, bye. What is the oh did you see him? I didn't see him. About to see him. It's a cat, it's a nice catfish. A nice channel cat. Are you kidding me? Okay, I go down here and land him. Ooh, it's a nice channel cat. I don't know if y'all can see him down there splashing. That's like a like a two or three pound channel cat. I can't really tell. They always look bigger when you're all the way up here on top of the wall. Okay, we're gonna ease our way down the wall. This is super sketchy. My shoes do not have very good traction at all. All right, I'm gonna try to scoot down these rocks. Ugh without falling in the water, without getting my line caught on the side of the rocks. Oh, we're up here. We got him. We got him. A nice channel cat. Look at this guy. He's tired. Don't come off right here. Heck yeah! Woo! That is exactly what we were after today. Woohoo! Look at that. Really, really nice channel cat. Probably like three and a half pounds or so. Let's walk him back up there and let's go put him in the cooler. All right, here comes Paul with my dinner. Look at this catfish. Heck yeah. Been out here a total of five minutes, already caught two bluegill and a really nice catfish on the night crawler. Yes, let's get him in the cooler. Let's get back out there. <laughs> <I'm coming up. laughs> hey. Dang, that's a big one. It looks like he swallowed it though. Oh. That's all right. He's big enough. We'll keep him and eat him. Sheep. That's a thick one. My goodness. <laughs> I'm doing that thing again where I got my rod out here in the water while you're showing us the bluegill. Maybe we'll recreate <laughs> some, uh, some catfish magic. Yeah. That's a good one. Hey, he'll eat up just fine. Oh yeah. There we go. Bluegill. Looks like a little one. A smaller one. That'll work. I'm doing it with this one. I am going to rig this bluegill up as an entire live bait. We're gonna toss it out there and see if we can catch ourselves a giant catfish with this guy. Here we go. I got this big 10-aught circle hook. 
we're gonna rig it right here in the back of the fin look at that big old bluegill hopefully that'll get eaten by a big old catfish if we catch a smaller bluegill we might swap it out but we got to get our bait in the water you're not going to catch a big old catfish unless you got a big old bait out there ready for him let's walk right out here we're gonna put it right underneath the spillway right there Fish on! Fish on! I think I got a catfish! Ew! Whoa! That is not a catfish! Oh! It's a buffalo! Hey! I caught a buffalo! <laughs> Check it out, I got a buffalo. Normally Cole catches all the buffalo out here. I don't know if I've ever even caught one. I don't know if you have either, I don't recall. Uh-uh. But so, he, I'm very excited to finally have caught one. <laughs> did he eat the night crawler or did you snag him? He ate it. Sucked it in? Yeah. Dang, he's not a bad one. He's not super big to be honest with you guys. We've seen some absolute behemoths yeah. out there, like some units. We all, we've also seen a big mystery fish. We don't know what it is. We don't know if it's yeah. a big buffalo, big blue cat, a paddlefish. I don't know what yeah. it is. It is, it's enormous, but that's awesome. Look at his big googly eyes. He's cute. <laughs> They're like the hogs of the river or the lake. <laughs> I know, we've seen a whole bunch. It's surprising we haven't caught more than just this one so far. We've been out here about I an know, hour now. we've seen so many. But maybe this will be the first of a couple of more. <laughs> awesome catch, Jay. See ya. Woo, give me some. Whoa. Your hands are nasty. Let me Gross. see that again. Ew. This is disgusting, yo. Gross. <laughs> okay, so I just walked down here to this first set of riffles down here below the spillway. I've been seeing some shad get busted on by some bait fish. So I've got the six cents dogma in hand. We're gonna see if we can catch one of these bass or whatever sort of these fish that are chasing these bait fish. I've seen some pretty big blow-ups over here. Oh, there's one on it. He missed it. He's still on it. He's still on it. Get it. Get it. Get it. It's gonna get away. Oh, he, oh, there he, oh my God, he's big. He missed it though. Oh, that was a big one. Oh, I'm reposition. Current was kind of pushing it weird. Oh, wait, there he is. There he is. He's not very big. This is a little one. But that is our first bass of the day. Chunky little spotted bass on a dogma. That one that missed it was a big one, but it's a good sign there are a bunch of fish right here. I'll take it. Fat, chubby little spotted bass. Send him back. That wind is ripping all of a sudden down here. There's one on it. There he is. That's a better one. Better fish. This water is so shallow, so they look really big. It's a nice one though. Nice bass. Nice bass. Oh, it's a white bass. Hey, so it's not even largemouth and spotted bass. It's white bass too. It's a big old white bass. That might be what's been down here eating those shad. Big old white bass. I mean, that's a really solid sized fish. It's making me a little nervous though. I wish I had some pliers on me. They're over there back by Jay. I thought he was fighting kind of weird. He wasn't pulling and jumping around like a largemouth or a spotted bass. Really nice white bass. Probably two and a half pounds, really good fish. Let's toss him back in here. Whoop. See ya. Let's get another one. We've gotten bit every single cast down here so far. Three times in a row. No telling how many are down here. There's school one right there. There's a big one up shallow. I don't know what to do. Oh, I should have thrown it up shallower. Oh, never mind. Oh my gosh. That fish was massive. How did I miss him? I am tweaking out of my mind. Come on, get it. Give me another chance. Oh, that was a sneaky good cast. Reward me. Here he comes, here he comes, here he comes. There he is, there he is. Woo! I saw him coming for it. Then we got ourselves another little spotted bass. What we got? Oh, a large mouth. We've caught three fish here, three different species. This one here looks like he's gonna jack me up too. Guys, they are doing it like crazy over there. Let's get back in there. I saw another nicer sized fish. Come on, baby. There he is. Another littler guy, but I am not mad at it. Always bigger than the last one. Bigger than the last one. Another large mouth. Probably the other one's cousin. There we go. Another nice little large mouth courtesy of the six cents dogma and they are going hard again look at them can y'all see those bass can y'all see those bass i'm right in the middle of them got him 
God, another one. Another bass. It is every cast. Those are the smaller ones, though. Just little, like, 12 inches. They are getting it good, though. And they sure are fun to catch. Nice little bass. So I'm going to cast back over here where I had that bigger one. It's a little bit deeper. And he could just be sitting there waiting for some of these shad that get um, disoriented, get injured by these little fish to float down there to him. So let's cast out here. So we can get that bigger fish to blow up on it. There we go. That's a decent fish. Decent fish. That might be my biggest bass so far over here. It's been a few casts since I've had a bite. This feels like a pretty good one. Get up here. Yes. A little fatty. A little fatty largemouth. That is awesome. Just eating that six cents dogma like it's candy. Lots of shad right here below the spillway for the, right here below this first riffle set. That's a nice bass. I definitely feel like I've had some bigger ones eat, but hopefully we'll be able to get one of those to bite the bait again. Oh, I'm getting snagged on rocks. It's so shallow up there where I'm casting. Like there's literally no other lure I could throw right there. I mean, I'm throwing up in like eight inches of water. I could throw like a fluke or something up there maybe, but this is the best way to catch these fish for sure. I wish I had another different type of top water, like a popper or something, just so I can mix it up. So I'm sure they're getting tired of seeing the same thing walking back and forth through this area. I'm trying to get one more right here. He's right behind it. There he is. Nice one. Nice one. Nice one. That's a big one. That is a really nice bass. Stay on there. Is that a white bass? No, it's a big largemouth. Big largemouth. Get up on the bank. Woohoo! Yes! He just came up and slurped that thing. Didn't even blow up on it. I just saw him creeping up on there. Yes. Look at that one. That is a really nice bass. Two and a half pounds or so. Just came up and slurped it. Got all those hooks in him. Dang, I can't believe I left my pliers up there by the spillway. I really need them right now. But we'll try to get him unhung without getting just destroyed by the hooks. There we go. We got a much better grip on him now. Look at that big old mouth. That dogma is just the dirtiest little walking style bait. Comes in great colors. This is the uh, ghost Spanish pearl color. And as you can see, these fish are just eating it up like candy. He's got some nasty stuff on the side of him right there, but either way, what a nice fish. I have some super shallow water. Hard to beat it. We will see you next time, buddy. Go get some more shad. Look at him. So epic in the shallow water. Okay, guys, so Jay just motioned over to me. She's not okay. She's not okay, she said. I don't know what's wrong. Oh, gosh. You okay? What's wrong? I don't feel good. You don't feel good? What's wrong? I mean, oh my gosh. Are you lightheaded? How long have you been feeling bad? For a long time, an hour and a half. But I don't, I can't fish anymore. Okay. Well, we don't have to fish anymore. We just need to get out of here then. What's hurting on you? Something hurting? My chest hurts. Your chest hurts? I'm so lightheaded and exhausted. Um, I think we have some water in the car. <laughs> so let's try to get up there and we'll take it easy walking across. I know it's going to be a long walk, but let's try to get up there and um, get some water and we'll run and get some more water. Is that going to be okay? Okay, let's, let's see if we can get you out of this hole first though. Give us an update, big boss. We made it to the car. What exactly happened over there? Because I was over there fishing downstream and uh, catching those bass, and I wasn't paying any attention to what was happening over there. And I just happened to look over and see you wave me down. And I feel really bad because I don't know how long you were calling for me to come back. It was about 20 to 30 minutes. No way. That's okay. I mean, I was just like trying to relax. Like, I think I got way too hot. And whenever I caught that buffalo, like I was sitting down just fishing because I was like exhausted. I felt like I had no energy. I could even just stand up, so. That's crazy. And that just kind of happened all of a sudden, didn't it? Yeah. I mean, it was really hot. I mean, there's a heat index like over a hundred, but we were kind of in the shade, kind of not. Well, we started off in the sun. 
Yeah. And that's what got me. There's some deer. There is some deer. I don't know if y'all gonna be able to see these. They might run out. We might smack them. No. There you go. Go that way. No, go that way. Okay. Two beautiful deer, by the way. But, um, yeah. So, are you feeling a little bit better now in the car? I know that walk back to the car was very brutal. Yeah. I think I was kind of freaking out a little bit because I was really worried about the walk back to the car. Yeah. Like, thinking about that was just, like, exhausting me, like, even more. I've but, never felt like that before. Yeah, and as much fun as it is to be out there fishing, you know, it's something you really had to be careful with yeah. and not I get too ahead like, of yourself. I was, like, trying to fight through it and catch some fish. <laughs> but I just, like, I was laying on a rock for, like, 30 minutes. I can't believe I didn't see you over there. <laughs> it's okay. But you got some water. We are about... 15 minutes away from a gas station, which kind of sucks, but we're gonna power through it. We're gonna get some good rehydration. The water's really hot. Ew. <laughs> but it's okay, it's water. Yeah, so we're gonna get to the gas station, get some water, and we will catch up with you guys back at the house. All right, guys, we just made it back to the house, and Jay is feeling a lot better than she did whenever we first left the dam. That was a very scary situation, and I feel so bad that I didn't realize that she was waving me down sooner. Um, when she told me she'd been trying to wave me down for, like, 20 minutes, like, my heart just, like, sunk. Like, I feel so, so bad because she did not look good at all. She looked like she was about to pass out and fall into the water. I've never seen her that week before. And that is That was just so crazy. And something we really have to be careful about and be aware of whenever we're fishing out in the hot weather, you know, to make sure we're always bringing plenty, plenty of water and just not getting too overly heat exhausted. Um, but with that being said, um, she's feeling a lot better. She's in the house resting up right now. And I am out here because we actually, you know, kept a couple of fish that we're gonna clean and eat for dinner tonight. I'm gonna get these fish out of the cooler and we're gonna clean them up, take them inside, and uh, cook them up for supper. So we said that we were going to be eating our catch for dinner, but time got away from us. It was actually like 9.30 whenever I was cleaning those fish. Yeah. And uh, it was just too late at that point, so we just settled for some leftover pizza last <laughs> night. But that's okay because we have ourselves a really delicious looking plate of food for lunch. We've got our blackened uh, catfish and bluegill fillets. We've got, our, we've got our broccoli, and then we've got our favorite Uncle Ben's 90 second rice. <laughs> it's a staple here in the household these days. You know, oh yeah. Want to try to cook the food as fast as we can because you know we got a little guy here and sometimes he gets impatient. He gets hungry himself. <laughs> so we are going to do the official taste test. And before we do that, Jay, how are you feeling this morning? I feel much better. Yeah. I drank lots of water last night. I think I may have got a little dehydrated yesterday yeah. and I guess just heat exhaustion. I don't know. It was crazy. I can't believe I cried. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. I couldn't believe you were crying either. Like I, like I said, I've never seen you like I that. I felt weak. really bad. And it's crazy. I mean, we drank a lot of water, but whenever you're out in the high heat, high humidity, like that water just like zaps, comes right yeah. out of you so fast. So if you think you're drinking enough water, like drink two or three times that amount and you should be okay. Yeah. And don't like overdo it. We walked a lot. It's a lot to get down into that spot. But anyway, it's good to hear that you're doing better. You should be doing a lot better with this nice healthy meal yes. here. So I'm gonna go on ahead and try some catfish or something. This is catfish. See how it is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's Woo. good stuff, Cypress. Oh, it's spicy. I got a spicy oh, yeah. bite. That's good mm -hmm. though. <laughs> we pretty much always season our fish with the Slappy Mama Cajun seasoning. Um, on this fish, I just I just shook it onto one side of the plate, left the other side bare, and that is the perfect combination. Cypress so is, good. You smell that food, Cypress? It smells so good. The wind is blowing <laughs> off the lake, and I'm sure it's blowing right up into his face. <laughs> you can just smell it. <laughs> so good. Get a little broccoli action. I'm gonna try the bluegill. Yeah, I have a little piece of bluegill here on my plate too. Let me try that. But he only kept one bluegill. We caught several good ones, but we only kept one. I feel kind of bad about it. Yeah. But this is plenty for us to have for lunch, as you guys can mm. see. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. I love that. Would you say that although um, you know yesterday's trip didn't really go as planned, that it was still worth it? Yeah, it's always worth it, I guess. Always worth it. I mean, <laughs> we came out of there alive. We got some food. Got some food. <laughs> it's good, and we had a pretty good time catching fish. Yeah. 
It started off okay. I think that if we didn't have to cut the trip short, we could have really caught a whole bunch of fish as that sun yeah. started to set. It seemed like the fish were starting to get pretty crazy out there. I caught a bunch of bass. There was a lot of like big fish coming to the surface below the spillway. Looked like there were some catfish tailing around. It looked very fishy out there. But I literally could not even stand up to fish. Yeah. It was crazy. And that's really I, sad. I like really tried to stand up and I was like, I can't do this. Mm. What's going on? And that's the worst. It was that's scary. The... We will definitely have to return to that spillway and get some revenge and see if we can catch some more fish. And like we said, we saw some giant mysterious fish swimming down there. Like I literally have no idea what those fish were. It'd be awesome if we could hook one. Yeah. But guys, we hope y'all enjoyed hanging out with us today on this fishing mission. If you guys did, do us a huge favor, hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any of our future mm -hmm. fishing adventures. We're, We're calling going, Jay and Baby C and we'll see you on the next one. Bye. Bye guys. Whoop!